Week 87. Week 87. Uh, welcome back. Just like with the recap videos. Yeah, and it took me a while to get used to the recap videos. I'll, I'll get used to it, especially now that we're going to do it um, on a regular basis. Grunt work is doing the grunt work. And when grunt work offered this to me, he literally used that line in the in the proposal. That's right, he proposed to me. How you doing, Neobium? Welcome in. It's a bit disingenuous. Say that you were cooking. More like reheating the steak. Grill on Tuesday? I gotcha. All right. Week 100 and still win? Yes. Yes. Pretend we were there. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Week 87! 87. Might work, Cam. I don't know. Get it. Get it. Grunt work's doing the grunt work. You guys get it? All right. So, uh, I didn't do the, the intro about what we're doing. Guys, we are in super late game. We almost lost the run last night. If you didn't see last night's stream, holy crap. So, basically, we went to the Swine God, and I took a slightly different team than I usually do. Slightly different team. Why would you do that? Why would you do that at the very end of the game on a World First Challenge? Why? Why, you might ask. I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. But I did. And you know what? We suffered for it. We almost lost the run. Um, we also got really bad luck, though. The Swine God crit us every single round. We had multiple death's doors. And then, Wilbur almost ended our run. Our flagellant was on death's door. Wilbur was like, I'm going to kill that man. Wilbur hit him, and he survived. He survived. There was a 27% chance that the run ended right there. We survived. We ran away. We bravely ran away like Sir Robin. And we came back with a team I usually use against the Swine God. And we destroyed him. Uh, it was scary. It was really scary. And there's the clip. Thank you, Pilot Wash. Should have killed Wilbur first. It might have been easier. Honestly. With how it went. Um, so anyway. We, we lived. Uh, Viscount is dead. We only have like five bosses remaining. We're super late game. Um, because we are so far in... As long as we don't lose the run tonight, uh, we're going to do Darkest Dungeon all night. All night long. This is Wilbur. It's, late. it's the worst way to lose you can think of. It would be pretty bad. You know what would have been a little bit worse? If I had had someone die in town of the curse, which we almost had. But thank God I had a rat. Thank God I had Adam the Rat, as Count Me Out calls him. Adam the Rat. Adam the Rat. All right. How you doing, Bacon Man? So, yeah, we're going we're gonna to play Darkest Dungeon all night unless we lose the run. Um, all we have left is Formless Flesh, which I'm worried about. What's his name? Defeat, uh, the Drowned Crew, not really worried about. And the Countess. That's it, guys. Three bosses in the Darkest Dungeons. We're already after killing the boss. Been there. We almost lost a run to Wilbur after killing him. Hey R squared, you missed something you would have loved. You missed something you would have loved if you came in five minutes ago. Hey R squared, how you doing? You can always go to the VOD, I suppose. But I'm not gonna replay it. I'm not gonna replay it. If you want to see some tragic extents of my failing, you can click on videos and go to the uh, like five minutes back, and you can see it already. Um, you didn't even clip it. <laughs> no pressure, pork. Pressurized pork. Mmm. How do you pork? Welcome back. Drown crew time, I think. Unless I want to open this. Huh. Which one do I want to do? Let's take a gander here. Where I got called in. Oh yeah, no worries. No worries. I told everyone that I'd show them something embarrassing for being here early. And boy, did I. So if you want to see something embarrassing, it's there. It's there for you. I kind of want to level Kaz up, but we don't really have time. We don't got time. So I think we five colleagues. Oh man, R squared. Glad you survived the layoffs, man. Did anyone know they were coming? Maybe the best clip from yesterday. Which one is that one? The thing isn't there since you'll need to go there twice. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking too. That way, next week we can decide between the two bosses. I think that's a pretty decent idea. I really would like to level Kaz up a little bit, but I don't think... Hard choice. Should have this challenge continue much longer if it fails. Versus, extended goodness all day. <laughs> Vigorous Larkin. 
Urinal chicken is more embarrassing. What's what's embarrassing about urinal chicken? I'm proud of that. No, I'm not proud of that. Um, we could do the champion dungeon because I do need to level up some of these. The math book. Two time urinal chicken chap so sad. right here. Because of all of its problems. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. How you doing, Jeep? Flex the style, Wartley. How worried about Darkest Dungeon? I'm only really worried about Darkest Dungeon 2. I'm really only worried about the second Darkest Dungeon, and that one I'm pretty worried about. That That's the the flesh and Darkest Dungeon 2 are the next big hurdles, really. Uh, charge up has kind of changed. Oh, Uncharged the procedure and protocol for 50,000 people. 15 minutes out. Holy crap. Grunt work. They just keep adding more onto it. It's crazy grunt work. Should watch the clip. I watched all the clips from last night. I just don't know which one you're talking about. Is it the whole one? Uh, Alex Denton. Alex, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Do I want to try to level... So, these three are all going to the Darkest Dungeons, right? I need to... I kind of need to get them to level 6. So they have the 10% additional resist. Which Darkest Dungeon are you slated for? Um, four. You're going to be at the Heart of Darkness, man. Champion Flesh is scarier than Darkest Dungeon 2? I don't know. I don't know. I guess maybe because... The, the thing is, in Darkest Dungeon 2, we have basically half our trinkets, right? So I can't really dodge as much. Well, I'd be on weeks? Yeah, we should be. One saying avoid Champion Dungeons. I know. 10% resist is not worth the risk at all. I, the only one I'm really thinking about it on is Zombie. And the reason why I'm thinking about it is because... Darkest Dungeon, or Yokoz and Zombie, because those, t Darkest Dungeon 3, the level 5s will start out with 20 stress, and we don't, I mean, I don't know, we have four camps in that one. So the shovel was truly groundbreaking. <laughs> How you doing, Hamiel? Funny moment, this teacher where he worked, before becoming a teacher, and he answered, I didn't. I don't like having contact with people. No. <laughs> Uh, yeah, let's let's push it safely. Push it real good, as Salt and Peppa would say if they were here right now. But they're no longer with us. <laughs> they're still alive. They're still alive. But they're not here. Hey, everybody, my name is Cletus. Anybody want some cornbread? Hey, Rose, welcome in. How you doing, Rose? Hi, Cletus. Man, that's a lot of people, Gruntwork. That's crazy, it's man. It's easy. Just always crit and always dodge. Thanks, Wayne. Simple. And keep that in mind. What quote? We've done four lepers before. It was boring. It's a true story. The most exciting for foursome I did. Uh, doing doing the four Hellions was the most exciting one. Talk about the pain train. Alright. Let's make sure we're all upgraded. Upgrading and ready to go. Why is my hands already sweaty? When we did the quad comp of everyone, the Hellions were the f most fun. Here comes the pain train. Here, co Don't ask. Just know. Grumpy Monkey, glad you're doing well. You didn't miss anything. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Thank you. Thank you, internet. Wait, your new internet's cutting out now, too? I'm sorry, Phoenix. I'm truly. <laughs> uh, any diseases you want to get rid of this week? A wasting a sickness. Actually, you know what? Man, that sucks, Phoenix. We don't need to push meter anywhere ever again. So I don't even need to get rid of that disease. Maybe I'll just do it out of respect. Sheer rubbish. That sucks. I'm so happy that uh, we ended up, ended up... Oh, it's all free. It's all free this week anyway. Right, because of the town event. So why not? Why not do it? Why not get rid of the Black Plague? Better have to not realize it. Gotcha. Yeah, that sucks. I mean, 
kind of, I mean, not 100%, but kind of stuck in that situation, I suppose. You love some Frostpunk? Yeah, it's a good game. Not quite as good as Frostpunk. I was tired. <laughs> All right, any negatives to get rid of or positives to lock in since it's free? I mean, maybe, <laughs> maybe we get rid of that. I don't know. It's too hot today. I have a fan that's literally, so I have a fan that's literally like on my feet. I have no feet, no pants. And there's a fan blowing under this desk. It feels good. The rest of me is on fire. But under the desk, cool as a cucumber. Good thing I didn't say my cucumber is cool. Don't want any extra quotes. All right, winter's coming for you. No feet? I have feet. Just no socks, no pants, no service. No shoes, no socks, no pants. But I still get service. All right, anything we want to get rid of? Man, he won't pray. He won't flagellate. He won't gamble. And he won't meditate. So basically, he's just going to go to the brothel if he ever needs to. Boss is one of the casualties, kind of assuming his duties. Pay bump, quit overtime, for whatever. You... Gotcha. Yeah. Do you guys know what was coming? Hey, Kaz, welcome in. How you doing, Kaz? That's cool. That's a quote. <laughs> uh, quoting me saying that I couldn't. Does this run succeed? Do you also want this to get the last five of the run? Have we go horribly wrong? Are you a bad person? Yes. Yeah. But it's all right. You compensate being a bad bad person by uh, supporting the channel immensely. So uh, we can look the other way. <laughs> no, fatty. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. That would be that would be epic. That would be the second most epic thing that could happen. First being we actually win, right? First being that we win. I mean, if we're going to lose, I guess it might as well happen in the final dungeon. But uh, let's not lose. Let's not lose. All right, so we're gonna get rid of uh, weak grip. I'm gonna lock in Eldritch Hater for the minus 15% additional stress from Eldritch because there's a lot of Eldritch in Darkest Dungeon 2. How close is, uh, I think he's on like week 75 or something. So we're, we're ahead at the moment. Take into last Darkest Dungeon, combo four. The main thing you have to worry about in Darkest Dungeon 4 is really just the fact that uh, you're gonna get a lot of stress. So, teams that have a lot of bleed are good. Uh, reach, bleed, stress relief. So, I mean, if you take Vestal, Jester, and then almost whatever in the front, within reason, you'll be fine. Don't kill you. I'm going to try my best. Trust me. All right. So, was there really anything else to get rid of? I mean, it's free this week. So, it feels like we might as well get rid of something, but... Mankind Hater... Huh. Uh, Alright, but it's not like... Let's see, Night Owl will be okay. Beast Slayer. So Kaiser is going to go into Darkest Dungeon 1. Darkest Dungeon 1 does have some beasts. Not as many as 2 and 3. Night Owl is okay, Spiritual is okay. The thing is, I don't think I'm going to take Kaiser anywhere else for those to fall off. So, Ascetic and Flawed Release don't matter. Bad Gambler doesn't matter. Lazy Eye doesn't matter. Kofobe doesn't matter. Like, I think this is like truly... We, we are in such a good spot that we actually don't need to do any of this, even though it's free. It doesn't smell like anything. I think it's total nonsense. Ha ha ha! Two in one night! Two in one night. <laughs> what a treat. And Jeep had one. That's three. Two plus one is three. Guys, there's like nothing to remove. What? There's like nothing to remove. Off of our uh, big boys. Guilty conscience? I mean, we're probably not going to use Lolek. Right? Holy crap. I really, I mean, I don't, I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I guess we can 
put Doc in here and get rid of Flawed Release. I don't think I'm going to use Zealous Accusation. Then they're going to Darkest Dungeon 4. So lock in Tough. I don't... Right. Hard Skin and Tuft. You just stay ahead of Jeep. <laughs> Good thing you skipped Summer. Wait, were you in a different hemisphere for Summer? Oh, you went to Europe. Yeah, yeah. Your phone fell out of your hand again. You didn't break it or anything, did you? All right, let's go, guys. Let's do it. We got all of our upgrades, right? Yeah, I already checked all that. We got... Uh, we could run into a... No, we can't. It's a short dungeon. No nightmares. No no camping. First dungeon of the night. A veteran dungeon. 8% chance of a shambler. We've had, what, five or six shamblers this run? I'd be good if we didn't get any more. Of course. Uh, let's do both of our healing scrolls. Our Jester, of course, we're going defensive with health, protection, dodge. On our Shield Breaker... Um, I'm going to do Dark Bracer, Surgical Gloves, and then on our Hellion, we're going to do Dark Bracer and Hell's Hairpin. Very shocking. Very shocking trinket setup. Weak grip on phone. <laughs> Hi, Nathan. What a terrible quote. Is that exact, like, word for word? I know it is. You don't do it otherwise. For the soundbite. Oh, we don't... It's exclamation the Q for the soundbite. Oh, what is wrong with the back? Hopefully it doesn't break. Alright, all the food. Two shovels. We have to take stuff just in case of a shambler. Unfortunately. <clears throat> you know what? I'm going to take Aegis to every dungeon we go to. Why not? They're kind... Bars? They're terrible? What? Wait, what is What is that? It's like a candy bar or what? I don't know. I'm going to always get things done for people on a discount. Because I know a guy. Do you ask? Do why I know all these people? Always deflect the question. I'm giving you an expensive watch or something. <laughs> Uncle Fatty. Is that what you go by? That's good to know. So you're saying if I ask you questions, you'll give me, like, expensive watches. It's good to know. If I ask any, like, possibly probing questions. Almond, chocolate, and sea salt. Gotcha. A is a Food, shovels. We got... I would take Aegis everywhere. Why not? We're not going to lose a run uh, because I didn't take Aegis. Uh, food, shovels. We got Shambler stuff. I think we're good. Upgrades, trinkets, skills. Upgrades, trinkets, skills. Upgrades, trinkets, skills. Yeah. Upgrades, trinkets, skills. We're good. We don't need camp. Don't jinx it. Well, I'm just saying, like, if I if I lost a run and Aegis was back in the provisions, you know, I could have taken it. I feel really bad. I feel really bad either way, but you know what I mean. We have our first physical bounty tonight. Uh, I can do it while playing Darkest Dungeon, which is amazing. Welcome back. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. Good God, that quote. Shoots. Shoots, nine months. How are you doing, Shoots? How are you and the missus? Thank you for the... Anyone else? Need upgrades? No. Shoots. Thank you for the resub. Nine months. I appreciate it. 11 sandwiches to shoot. It's a boy. It's a baby boy. Well, I mean, it's a baby. Thank baby boy. Yeah, it's a baby boy. <laughs> I knew it shoots. This is a tiny dungeon. Tiny dungeon. The bounty is that I, I need to drink game fuel while playing Darkest Dungeon for an hour. And they sent me $20 of game fuel. Never had it. Never had it. I don't like energy drinks, really. But I'm going to try it out. And I'll let you guys know, honestly, what I think about it. I'm not going to lie about it, that's for sure. Hey. If Twitch wants to pay me... <laughs> if, if Twitch wants to pay my electricity bill... To have me drink a Mountain Dew for an hour... Done. Mountain Dew and kerosene? That's what I'm worried about. That's what I'm worried about. Oh, there's hall battles everywhere. 8% chance at a Shambler. 4% chance at a Collector. Yeah, it is, Larkin. 
This isn't good either, honestly. Honestly. So, this one marks, and they both do massive damage to mark targets. Can I just kill this one flat out? Yeah. Color 9. Basically, we're up and discuss. There's, they sent four different flavors. The cans are massive. I was expecting, like, just a soda can or something, but they're, like, bigger than the sodas I drink. I don't know. I'm going to try it out. Uh, there's, like, a berry one and normal do or whatever <laughs> uh and then there's a red one <laughs> and then there's tropical pineapple which is what i am going to try 16 or 20 yeah one of those two yep bigger than i thought no no <laughs> this is how it happens this is how these quotes happen this is this is how it happens if my wife ever asks you that was about game fuel that was about game fuel. <laughs> a powerful blow. Cans are massive. God, that's going to be a usable quote. I can see that being used on uh, character creation. I don't, never mind. I need to... You know what? I wasn't in a hole. I, I should stop digging. Stop. Put down the shovel. Put down the shovel. Down the shovel. Monstrous size has no intrinsic merit. Unless... Steak sandwich and food on the score. I gotta check that out. Hiding in Rebel Rod. <laughs> that emote combo. Same time on butts. That's true. And balls. Some large cans and what else. Uh, so we want to kill a vomit pig first because it can disease us and we have no way to cure disease. Pretty good. How was your day? <laughs> That's kind of my answer now. Um, um, it, it's all right. We'll just put. Yeah, it's good enough. It stays okay. <laughs> 2019, man. I haven't had a great year, but it's all right. We'll make it. We'll make it. Man, we killed everything aside from the hooker and the reaver. Please don't stun her. Thanks. Thanks. A strange year. Not really a strange year as much as just a bad year so far. Hopefully it gets better. But anyway. Devastating blow. Glad you're pretty good. Except for the hooker. Oh, there's so many hooker quotes. I feel it. Come on. Leave him alone. Leave Ted alone. I feel at, e I feel at ease uh, talking about hookers now. Because there's so many that it takes something like truly remarkable to get a new quote that involves that word. Uh, I think I'm gonna buff so we go before the next round. Yeah, talk about hookers all I want. All right, they're not even called hookers in the first two. So if anyone's wondering why I call them that, in champion level dungeons, Darkest Dungeon actually calls them meat hookers. Yeah, exactly. Alright, take this guy out. Okay, it's dead. Take this one out. Confidence surges Not to the ball game. Do, 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 do. They haven't given us, uh, you know what, you know what bounty they haven't given us in a long time? The Grand Tour. We got all the way to the last, last episode of that game, and they never gave us another one. Do, 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 uh, friend that has that kind of uncle? An Italian family, his cousin was getting married, they asked the uncle to loan them some money, help pay, and he told them not to worry about it, made one call. High reception. That's crazy. I mean, that's like movie level stuff. And I understand, like, you know, that a lot of that stuff, most of that stuff, is based heavily off of real life occurrences, right? But it's still crazy to think about. You know what? I'm going to check out that Curio. Regret. 
regret. Is the trap maker's art. Dude's from Top Gear, yeah, it was. Witnessed by his own eyes. Full of regrets. Special I'm place in your heart and mind. For a task yeah. Performed. Deep connection there. Trap can't hat. This is the stream. So that, God, <laughs> if I have will know. <laughs> Don't, 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 you're driving, don't, don't do it. What week? Like 87, like 87. Last night I almost had a heart attack. A selective memory or hearing, yeah. <laughs> eight, eight percent. Hey. What do the books give? The books have a chance at a positive quirk, a negative quirk, stress, reducing the light. So it has three chances. It's it's about a 66% chance at a negative. 33% chance is a positive quirk. Impressive. So it's not worth clicking them uh, unless you have possibly uh, the Color Madness district that gives you, um, makes it so knowledge curios relieve stress. Reducing the light? Oh no, what would we do? <laughs> oh, he resisted. Oh, take that worm. If you retreat, does it still push the meter? No, it doesn't. It doesn't. That's why the week is wasted. We have to actually complete the quest. Crit. 300s, you're watching like a week or two later. Yeah, I mean, it's crazy. Like, I know everyone says it, right? Like, no matter the size of the channel, like, this channel wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys. And that's true for everyone, of course. And I know that other channels, of course, have mods and community members that put in a lot of time and, and help the channel. And, you know, e even watching the channel helps out a ton, obviously. But seriously, if it wasn't for, like, people like Phoenix and Count Me Out and the rest of the mods and... You know, grunt work now with YouTube, and there's just, I mean, there's a lot of people that, that spend a lot of time and effort making the stream what it is, and it's like, I know I, I say it all the time, you know, I say how, like, thank you, I appreciate it, and I know I, I left out a bunch of people, I appreciate you as well, but uh, seriously, I'm not just saying it to kind of, like, look, you do nothing, you, you, if you're here, you're doing something, you know what I mean? You're helping. 3,000 average years and spend all downhill after them. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I wish. No, my pleasure, Cam. Just show up and die. <laughs> Mortality from me, so you're welcome. Yeah, thank you, Ashcore. I need it. I need it. That's one of the things I need the most. Immortality. Oh. Arrows and DD. You still find yourself impressed with the monster's artwork and design? Yeah, me too, Python. Saying... Yeah, and the closer you look, if you actually take the time and look at monster, um, the monsters, their artwork, uh, you you keep noticing more and more detail, right? Like, I think Stuff said it the other night. Like, he had had hundreds of hours of the game before he realized that the uh, the fungal guys in the Wield are people in a in a crab walk stance with mushrooms coming out of them, right? Like, and like the Hag, the bosses, they have very little things. Like, um, the hag has her her pouch of herbs and her ladle, and she uses them. At this point, do everything. <laughs> that's, not, that's not true. You made some quotes. Double vomit pig. Let's see if we can kill them both. No, long, long story short. It's here for the first birthday stream. <laughs> long story short, guys. Thank you for being here and helping the stream get to where it is. Oh, hemophilia. She has no bleed resist anymore. Isn't that great? Um, I hope that by the end of this year, I can get to that point where the stream is what I'm, what I do, right? Like that's that's all I have to do. Um, and it's gotten so close because of what you guys. Guardians or octopus? Yeah, Davy Jones looking things. Can't remember the stream numbers when you joined. Oh, it was under 100. Because you joined before we were partnered, right, Kaz? 
tries to go away. Or cat me out good. So. No, you bring interesting conversation. Some of that sort once, brother told him he was looking to sending a job application to a drilling company here in New Jersey. Two hours later, the company called her brother and asked him, why to come? That's crazy. It's crazy. It's scary too though, you know? Like it goes the other way. It's like, it's awesome and terrifying. <laughs> Precision and power. The stream is good. Thank you, BK. I hope so. Yeah, Kaz, I think you when you came here, I think the stream is actually more like 40. Average viewers, 40 or so. Uh, I'm going to buff our speed. Or when she heals herself. I always think... Weird animation video, the character saying, My spoon is too big. My spoon is too big. <laughs> no, no. Pythons, why have you done this to me? Too best. Thank you, Cam. Like I said, if you were at the stream, lurking, participating, no matter what you're doing here, you're helping out. Seriously. Seriously. Um, I don't think we can out heal him if he crits someone, so I'm just gonna stun him. Stream and seeing you were the top one, thinking, cool. Guy speaks English. It's like he knows Dark's Dungeon. Boy, I thought I knew it back then. I've learned so much since. And then you never left. When you brought Mr. J. These nightmare yeah, thank, creatures thank you, Cass. Thank you, Mr. 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 Why am I in a Catholic mass? Why am I making that noise? Uh, I don't need any of this stuff. Uh, uh, <laughs> Do I need extra food? No, not at all. I'm like over encumbered with food. I wish I was over encumbered with food. What a problem to have in real life. I mean, it's possible this has something besides food. Three, so color madness and one more. That's what you thought the name was interesting. Really? That that's kind of cool to know. Like I, I always wonder, and I used to ask that in the surveys, but I've been trying to keep the surveys shorter, believe it or not. And I used to always ask, how'd you find the stream? What made you stay? Well, that's pretty cool, grunt work. It's good to know that the name was actually interesting and memorable. I worry about the names sometimes. BK! BK, thank you for the 431 bits. Thank you, BK. Appreciate the bits, they absolutely help out. So BK, lately when I see your name, I don't think of the BK Lounge anymore. I think of the Donkey Kong rap from Donkey Kong 64. Do any of you guys remember that? Sonja, when you were getting into it, what do you man would do? Follow Adam for months on end. Get advanced hit so you can finally beat Blood Moon. <laughs> Thank you, Pythons. Watch the stream, like four months where you actually subbed. Yeah. Appreciate you guys. I have a question. How can you deal with the final boss without deaths? So, hide how the final boss... There's two ways to deal with the final boss with no deaths. Basically, slight spoiler alert for anyone that doesn't want to know about the final boss... And I will wave at you when the spoilers are over. Now's your chance to mute the stream if somehow you don't want these spoilers. So hide. The final boss has a move called coming to your maker. The point of coming to your maker is to kill two or to make you go down to two people, right? So if you only have three when you get to the heart, it will only use coming to your maker once. But if you only have two when you get to the heart, it'll only use uh, or it won't use coming come to your maker at all. So basically what I do is I two-man the whole encounter. Welcome so every single phase, I use only two heroes from the very start of the dungeon because when you get to the heart with two heroes, it doesn't use coming to your maker. It makes it very long and very hard to do, but I've done it before, so I know it's possible. All right, spoiler's over. Francis, Francis, welcome back. Got free Amazon Prime month, so here you go. Thank you, Francis. Francis, thank you for using Amazon Prime on me, Twitch Prime on me. It financially supports the stream, the same as a normal subscription. Thank you, Francis. Love sandwiches to Francis. <laughs> Appreciate it. Or that you didn't go crazy for Endless. Came apparent that you knew Dark Session way better than you did. Oh, I gotcha. So you wanted to see a lot more Endless, huh? At, at the beginning. Good crit. You get spoils. 
character to use for that? I use Crusader Houndmaster. Hey, you doing, Matt? Welcome in. Sokar, how you doing, Sokar? You will join us or die, Master. Fatty can't fly. Thank you for the gift sub to Alex Denton. Alex, thank you for the follow earlier, and Fatty, thank you for the gift sub. Shit, Fatty. Let's go ahead and buff. Change the stream game. Oh, it, it absolutely did. For the final decision when you did Blood Moon last time? Yeah, there is. There is. Let's see if we can... Play for about an hour. Friend says, oh, no worries, Matt. Matt, thank you for the lurk. Hopefully you're doing well. Yeah. Guys, thank you for sharing how you found the channel. Why you stayed. It's always fun to hear. It's always fun to hear. Um, I guess I need to get forward. Oh, okay. Mr. Litters. I know, I call Phoenix the historian and archivist of the channel now. Hopefully you like that. Uh, Phoenix, if not, I won't, I won't do it anymore, but... Strip more meat for the pile. <laughs> so wait... Have you ever had to ask for a favor, Fatty? Or maybe you can't tell me. Oh, am I gonna get a watch? <laughs> Give me the title. Side without getting far. Chrono kill, kills in. It was like, this guy running a regular dungeon. Oh, he knows everything. <laughs> Thank you, girl work. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I liked doing endless. But I had no... I don't know, I didn't have that much interest in just doing it like everyone else was doing it. Like, everyone was using buffed out of their mind Leper and, you know, Plague Doctor and just cleaving through everything. And I was like, you know what, if we're gonna do Endless, let's do it differently than everyone else. And so, we did random comps for Endless. Like, every every week we'd get whatever four, four Shard Mercenaries there were and we'd just run them. And then we did the four of a kind runs and stuff. I thought those were, they added a little bit more interesting dynamic to Endless compared to what everyone was doing with just spamming Leper. Favors. That is a good idea. Oh, yeah, I didn't think about that. Because <laughs> then they might ask you a favor someday. Move for Dark Sunday streams one night, considering getting into it. She wanted something to watch. We're eating dinner. Play back atmosphere and awesome. Welcome. It's a Christmas miracle. Thank you, Pile of Wash. It's a Christmas miracle. It's the last uh, battle, right? Yep. Yep. We're going to open that chest, though. No Shamblerino this time. It's his last name, by the way. Shamblerino. True story. You know who I haven't seen in a while? 8% Shambler. In chat. <laughs> hey everybody, my name is Cletus. Anybody want some cornbread? Shambler, Shamblerino. That's right. Tip for tat is an important part of life. Yeah. It can be. Automatonophobia. Kind of sucks. Evasive's good. Weapon Tinker's fine. Doesn't really matter. Eagle Eye. Eagle Eye's fine. Better than Warden's Adventure. Never be afraid to get a favor in 01. 100% extra shards this week. Oh boy. We're not going to use that at all. So how's your Dark Souls 2 adventuring going tonight, Matt? If you're still here. Or are you not, not playing tonight? I don't even know why I look in here anymore. Like, Look, they're all seven. Uh-oh. It's like you owe the favor to you, yeah? Uh oh. This is one of one of like two things I'm still worried about. How many bosses left? Three. Flesh. Crew. Countess. How you Dakar? So I usually take a AoE bleed team to this fight. And that's good. However, I really think I need to take a man at arms. 
I was thinking about it earlier. I was thinking about it earlier. Um, and we have this discussion on the stream sometime. What is the strongest character in the game? And when I look at this challenge, specifically, I guess, I guess any playthrough, but specifically this challenge, when you look at the challenge and you think of every class, and you think, which class, if I removed only that class, would cause the run to be the hardest? Vestal is, is the answer, right? Vestal is the first one. The second one, I was thinking hard about it. It's Man at Arms. It's Man at Arms. Without the, without the Vestal or the Man at Arms, I honestly don't know if this challenge is possible at all. Um, Shieldbreaker is a very good character, but you can remove the Shieldbreaker and still do this, right? We've only used one Shieldbreaker and for very little. Like, use a Helligan instead of her. Shieldbreaker is very good, but if you take her away, that's fine. You can still do it. But if you take away the Vestal, it becomes ungodly hard in the Man-at-Arms. When I was looking at Champion Dungeons, because I bring a Man-at-Arms like every wield. Every wield after we hit Veteran, or else I'm afraid we'll die. I take it to so many bosses to counter the boss mechanic. His camping skills are insane. So Vestal and Man-at-Arms, I think, are the two most needed classes in the game for this for this challenge. Flesh, stars two. Sucks a lot, too, if you get unlucky. 50 plus stress soon. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Flesh and Darkest Dungeon 2, yeah. Alright. I'm gonna take a man in arms of this. It's just it's just too good. We can uh, we can buff our dodge, so we can dodge most of the moves, and then if someone gets in trouble, our man in arms can guard. He can guard the whole time. He can guard our Vestal every single turn to make sure she doesn't get stunned so we can heal back up. It's just too it's just it's it's a safety net. And it's very much needed. Stream without chat again. Hack has a bag of herbs and she uses them. Scream in the car. So does Cat be out. <laughs> Time you decide to do something different? Yeah, I do. I do. But I think the main arms will actually make it easier. Crit without going to death door. Exactly. What is that? Oh, the trinket? That's the heart trophy. 50% bleed resist. 15% max health. Maybe not surprisingly, it's good against the heart itself. I still don't use it against the heart, but... All right, let's do this. Um, so we're going to take our most defensive Vestal. Tough, thick-blooded, Hippocratic. She's basically built for this. Clodder, Hippocratic. Luminous. Boss. Got this guy. <laughs> Uh, Man at Arms. Kaiser has Corvid's Grace, which is awesome. Night Owl is also great. Beast Slayer. Spiritual, all good in here. Better slap that on a Jester as soon as possible. <laughs> Do I want to take a Jester? Do I want to take a Jester or a Houndmaster? Hmm. Let's look at their stats. Eldritch, Hater, Luminous. Manslayer is okay. How Master Doggo? We can take both. Both is actually good, but we have to make it to the boss. Daredevil. Hard Noggin is good for this fight. Beast Slayer is good. I still think I would take Luminous over it. So maybe Blade. Hound's Harry's the best move of the game. On this boss, it is. <laughs> Everywhere else, though. Yeah. Hey, follow faithful. How you doing? Greystone, welcome in. How you doing, Greystone? Yeah, I know. The Hound, that's why I like the Houndmaster. Because he can do AoE bleed, and then if there's a heart up, he can focus the heart. Unerring. Luminous. And then, of course, our Hellion. Still winning? Yeah. We're about to do something hard, though. About to do something difficult. Natural Swing, tough, Mankind Heater. Mankind Heater, there's a lot of humanoids in here. Tough is great for this boss. Natural Swing's always good. That's what she said. Precise Striker for the crit is good, but it doesn't help us survive. 
So, 17. One of my favorite teams, Hunting Hounds of Hell. Now, generally for the flesh, I don't take a Man at Arms and I take a Jester instead. But we have a lot of dodge trinkets this time. I really think this is the this is the safest with still being able to kill. Don't fail. Don't fail me. Change strategy is a good decision. <laughs> I think the man at arms is is the key. One of the keys to winning this challenge, though. I really do. Might even use more of them if we fail. Alright. Kick back after a long day of cleaning your house. We will join tomorrow. us or die, Master. Oh, I remember that. Fatty! Thank you for another good sub, Fatty. To crank. Maybe it's RTC rank. I don't, I don't know. It's all lowercase to me. Rank or crank. Welcome into the sub club. Thank you, Fatty, for another gift sub. Love and sandwiches to Fatty. If you guys would. Thank you. Thank you, Fatty. Uh, Alright, let's get rid of hemophilia. Sure. I don't think there's anything, right? Like, did we pick up anything last week? That was on our veteran characters, right? So... Dead hitter, finger phobia, automatonophobia. I guess I'll do that. I don't think that we're going to pass a week anymore, but, you know, we might need to. Why, you might ask? I don't know, but if we do, it would be good to have them ready to go. No. Uh, Alright, can't postpone anymore. Let's do this. So this is one of the fights I've been... Uh, Dreading the entire the entire playthrough. So, for this fight, I actually don't double up on healing trinkets. Because the Vestal is generally a, a pretty big target, and she also has Hippocratic. So I am going to put um, a Moon Cloak on her. Um, on our Houndmaster, we're going to go defensive as well. On our man at arms, we go mostly defensive. Then on our Hellion, that's who's getting the offensive treatment. Um, and a little bit of dodge. Stack dodge, any high protection to that? It's like exponentially increased defense, yep. Vessel and man at arms, I think. And then if I had to choose one more that taking them away would make this much harder. The next one way down the list would probably be the Hellion. We could do it without her, though, especially because the Shieldbreaker exists, but... It's getting the spices. No, she's not. And the Monocle. Alright. <laughs> A few homeless people. Most people don't actually care where the organs are coming from. They need them enough. Uh, hey soul, how's it going? All the food, stack of shovels. We gotta take all this stuff in case we run into a shambler and for the flesh itself. Do you have any negative quirks? I have a couple. We're taking the Aegis. This might be the place that we most need them, actually. Closed out the stream. <gasps> How dare you? I was worried. Thanks, R squared. Food, shovels. We got stuff for the Shambler and the flesh. We got Aegis just in case. We got blood just in case. We have this. We have the uh, crew, the Countess, and the Four Darkest Dungeons. Yeah. Hey, right, Jim. Focused. Upgrades, trinkets, skills, camping. Upgrades, trinkets, skills, camping. Upgrades, trinkets, skills. Trade that out before the boss. Camping. Upgrades, trinkets, skills. Camping. Alright, let's go. In the last, like, four champion dungeons, we only had one that didn't have a shambler. 
shouldn't say those things. The spasmodically squirming, braying, and Upgrade trinket skills and camping. Each upon the other until at last I was rid of them. That's what I'm thinking, Riggs. That's what I'm hoping. Become a landfill of snout and hoof. A landfill of snout and hoof. A mountainous, twitching mass of misshapen flesh fusing itself together in the darkness. <laughs> so dumb. And the other thing, too, is of course it cures you of all the curse, right? So the trinket that you get instantly doesn't do you any good at all. Terrible than I can describe. An incoherent jumble of organs. Oh, thank you for that critical scout. Uh, we have one hall battle at least that we have to do. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. So the boss is here. This way we have one, two, three battles that we see. This way we only have two. So we'll go up. Too much sham, not enough blur. Skills camping to your daughter bedtime. Not yet. No, that's what we do before school, so I make sure she's completely ready for her day at the dungeon. Last time I ex explained that this was a 12% chance to be a random spawn shambler, it spawned. So I'm not going to explain that, and therefore it won't spawn. If you see a shambler, can you run and try a different route? You can. You'll get a lot of stress from it. Beyond this dimension, come out. Be more shamblers. Big Joe has had one champion shambler. We've done three. So I don't need any more. <laughs> I mean, it, it has nothing to do with his. Let's see if we can stun the stress caster. That's a pretty good party for us, as long as we kill him before he marks us. He dead. Prisons is close enough to a dungeon. Kind of true. Our school's pretty good, though. Their formation is would have been Collector. Collector would have been 5%. I'm not worried about Collector this team too much. I mean, Collector could still... Uh, the Collected Highwayman could still screw us up. But I'm not too worried about the Collector. Not compared to a Champion Shambler, anyway. Good crits. BK. Showing us his chops. Get it. The ground quakes. Bam, you're on fire. You are. Don't get it. Even though you get it. <laughs> are we not going to get hit in this fight? Gently. No, we're going to do 10 damage. We're gonna cr actually going to crit for 11. Close. It's really close. BK, can you do three crits in a row? No, it doesn't matter. Not here for the loot. Not here for the loot. Not here for the loot. Alright, we know this can't be a shambler, so that's good. Got that going for us. It's not a good fight. Um, This one marks. We have three different things that give disease. Oh, and then you missed that one. So your average just went down. Good dodge. 17. Attaboy. Good dodge. Everyone give these guys an attaboy. 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 <laughs> no, not you. And just everyone's dodging them. But <laughs> everyone's dodged. All right. Uh, no one hit anyone. It's easy. They know the strategy. Just always crit and always dodge. Arches all ones. Simple. Hey, pineapple. Are you mostly alone? Talk to them. They don't like the flesh. Which is where people develop actual love, feelings for inanimate objects. It's gonna be go. Uh. <laughs> Can we stun you? I really don't want marked. All right. Good. Good. Also, really don't want a disease. So that's why I'm going after these. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. Oh, it's such a bad one. Why did I have to say something? Oh, that's a really bad one for him to get. No bleed resist. No bleed resist. Well, not... Yes, 25%. Crap, man. Minus 10% max health. 
It's like the worst one he could get right now. Honestly. Like the worst one, yeah. He could have given us any disease in the game other than Shrieker and diseases and Sky Taints. And we get the Red Plague. That's really bad. Great is the weapon that comes game listens. God, it does. It does. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll use it. Now he's going to have Holy Water, you know, during the boss fight, which will help. Like, he, he still will have a chance to resist, but nowhere near, like, nowhere near what it was. That minus 10% health is really unfortunate, too. Still has our most health, but this is a pretty healthy team in general. As the fiend falls, a faint hope you called? I don't think anyone called for Burt Reynolds' taint. He gonna bleed. That sucks, man. That's really unfortunate. Not here for loot. Come on, scout. Come on, scout. What are the core tips for the game? You're struggling. Uh, a couple things. One, any time that you can heal stress or recover, no matter how little it is, you do it. If it's safe to do so. So, like, when you get the enemy team down to one or two mobs left and they're not strong mobs, even if you only have like 16 stress on your team, you heal it. Because that 16 could be the difference between an affliction or a heart attack. So take advantage of those moments that you can stall a little bit to heal. That's a really big one. The other thing is bring teams that have reach. Bring as many people as you can within reason that can gang up on a single enemy at any position. Because in Darkest Dungeon, Focusing down the biggest threat to you every single round is more is most important, right? So you you look okay. Is my health low? If my health is low, I need to gang up on whatever has the best chance of getting us to death's door. If our health isn't low, let's gang up on the stress caster. So characters with reach that you can pinpoint what you need to kill first. Recovering any time you can, even if it doesn't seem like you need to recover yet. Um, all those are good things. Now, the other thing I would say early on is, like, don't be afraid to dismiss heroes. Uh, it's worse to lose good trinkets than it is to lose heroes. If you're not playing on Stig Stygian or Blood Moon, there's no game over mechanic. You can play as long as you want, thousands of weeks. New heroes will come every week, so don't be afraid to dismiss some of your roster. Hire new people. You'll get new people every week. And in that same sort of vein, try to get a really wide roster and level up slowly. So that you have all those weeks in Apprentice Dungeons to gain better trinkets. Um, to get your upgrades in town. Because really, the early game is one of the hardest parts of the game. Uh, you don't have good trinkets. You have underleveled people. You don't have the comps that you want. Like, it's really important to get a wide roster. Level it evenly. Recover as much as you can in dungeons. And don't be afraid to dismiss people if they're in terrible shape. Or if they've outleveled. And you're not done farming, so to say, Apprentice Dungeons. That'd be my advice, Gallows. All right, we're going to camp and we're going to grab tactics and weapons practice, most importantly. And then I might also use prey. Been really confused by the lack of success in the dungeon, even lower difficulty torches. You could find your footing. Still lost several times in a row for week five. On a whim, it replaced a file. A torch of deathless Stygian. Doing wrong isn't related to the changes the difficulty makes, or the file changes something. Yeah, that's weird. Do you know, does it tell you which file it replaced? That was really weird. I wonder if you had something screwed up from an old mod or something. That would suck too, because you've done a ton of runs. Hey, Adler, Adler, thank you for the follow. And if you have any questions, Adler, by all means, let me know. Rats in a maze. Okay, so dodging crit, most important thing. Now this has a chance to give 8% crit. She got it. It doesn't say which file. Hmm. We had something like that happen too, if you remember. Back when we were doing the other Torchless Deathless Blood Moon, we were having such a hard time. And then someone, or I, I realized everyone had only like an 80% chance to hit. And I was like, what the friggin' crap? And we went and did a verify and it replaced like seven files or something. Um, I think I'm going to give us that little bit extra protection. It's not a whole lot, but it could mean the difference. Or we could give dodge. You know what? I'm going to give him dodge because 
It also gives accuracy, and Overture is lowering his accuracy. Yeah, that was crazy, and I'm guessing it was from that modded run we did. Like, something changed a file instead of replacing, or I don't know what it did. But Short dungeons is that you won't get a lot of loot, make it hard to gain money weak. Yeah, that's true, too. Um, and camping, so medium dungeons has a camp, and a lot of times in medium dungeons, you don't actually have that many more battles than in a short. And the camping, you can actually recover more of than what you got from those extra dungeons. Or extra fights. Torch is out. Struck. Star is actually brutal. Yes. Is There's just no good stress healing. Can't take the Jester everywhere. So that's what I'm saying, Phantasma. That's why we have so many restarts. The early game is one of the hardest. Early game and champion dungeons. Those are the two pressure points. You can lose anywhere in between on those challenges. But early game is, is one of the crappiest points. You're under-leveled. Your level zeros start out with stress. Because they just start with 25 stress. Because they're under-leveled, even for Apprentice, you don't have Trinkets. Oh, friggin' Hall Battle. So, really, early on, you try to get Jesters and Defensive Trinkets for your Jesters. And if you get a run like that... So, basically you have to get lucky on Roster and Trinkets to have an early game survive. In Torchless Blood Moon. Please don't be... Okay. Which... Stats are best to sacrifice. Speed is one of the best stats in the game because if you go before the enemy, uh, a lot of times, it, since you have reach, since you're bringing like Hellions, Houndmasters, things that can hit any position, and you go before the enemy, you can kill stress casters a lot of time or whatever the the biggest threat is before they even get a chance to hit you. So speed is very good. Um, dodge, you can sacrifice dodge early. Dodge is one of the strongest stats in the game, but only if you can stack it. Dodge gets better the more you can stack it. You can stack it to a point where it's, like, overpowered. But early game, everyone's got, like, zero or five dodge. It's okay to sacrifice that with trinkets, but I wouldn't sacrifice speed. In fact, one of the things I tell people is I really think it's a, a newbie trap, so to say, that so many of the first trinkets have minus speed. So I definitely wouldn't sacrifice speed, especially early game. Uh, how you doing, Factor? Welcome in. Fred, how you doing, big man Fred? Hi, Shambler. No, no. We get the stun in. So you're, okay, good. So we're basically want to, wanting to see him do Rend or Howl. We don't want to see Skull Toss. I really want him to do Rend. Like, a crit rend will do less stress than a howl or a skull toss. We can't stun him again. He's probably going to skull toss her. Is a rarity in the fever pitch of battle. Hmm. I might guard her. Because he has a pretty good chance of dodging. Keep your trailer at 20 insane. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I'm going to do that. Well, there was that crit skull toss. We didn't dodge it. We didn't dodge it. <sighs> Minus 20, not 20. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're chill at minus 20. I gotcha. I was about to say, 20 degrees is pretty cold. You live in a freezer, you're gonna die. Uncertainty. The birthplace of dread. We can get one stress heal in. That's pretty rough. What does the effect horror do? It's a stress over time. So it's like a bleed, but instead of getting rid of health, it adds stress every round. Scream. Oh, kept super cold. Gotcha. Monster's size has no intrinsic merit. Unless inordinate... That really sucked. He's going to end up over 70 stress. It's boss time. Sign for the Forlorn tonight. Oh. You're not talking to me? 
Finding the stuff is only the first test. New Orleans, you're welcome now for this ice cream. Home. No. I don't know. How close how how close do you live, Phoenix? To New Orleans. Green helps you. What do you sign of the Fort Lauren tonight? Read all the requirements to one hand it, two handing it. Was getting any bonus in any way? Was getting major debuffs and all the different types of damage. Hold out the roaring halberd. String dex faith and int requirements. All those two. Now this one you're getting a huge bonus. So they're they're scaling in the game. I don't know. I never I never really use those weapons in the dark damage too. Yeah, I don't know. I never use those ones, but I know every single weapon, even in the same weapon type has different scaling. So I don't know if that's what's going on. Uh, we're not gonna use Bello. Yeah, I'm not sure. It's not truck stop tomorrow. Two Dan something really amazing dark Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Igni. This is what I want to take. This is one of the scariest bosses, honestly, in this challenge. Okay, she's good. She's got her self-heal just in case. We got Bolster, which is going to be very important. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Downstream. Yeah, I'm glad you found it too. There we go. Don't forget how- thank you, Brave Mustache. <laughs> Top physical damage with 40 strength, 40 dex. Yeah, I don't know. I have no idea. Best adventure is worse. All- so the thing about Darkest Dungeon is all the characters are actually good. The balance in Darkest Dungeon is pretty good. Like, there's no, like, F tier. There's, like, S tier and A tier, basically. Oh, what a crappy first spawn. Oh, thank you. So, all the characters are good in their own right. Uh, different characters are better in different places. But some of the better characters that you can use almost everywhere. Vestal. Um, the Jester for stress healing. Man at Arms. Hellion. Hellion is extremely good. Alright, Holy Water time. Get our bolster up for extra dodge. Which is in Dark's Dungeon sometimes. Especially with this challenge, there's even more... There's even more RNG. This is one of the worst combos we could get. So, for anyone that doesn't know, it's a boss that has... It's a boss that has four parts. They share a health bar. So, AoE damage is good. AoE blights or bleeds specifically. And it can transform into different parts of the pig. And these big ones stun. These do massive damage plus bleed. These do massive damage plus blight. So we're going to use Holy Water for additional defense. And we're going to hope for the best. Two bot parasites, two zephyrs on you in your run. Zephyr heart parasite, parasite. That's pretty rough. Holy Water. Oh, good dodge. Head, head, butt, butt. Spine, spine, butt, butt is nice too. No, no, no. Good dodge. Oh, that bolster coming in handy. Oh, there we go. Two hearts. That's what we want to see. They heal, but they don't do any damage. Now, the two heads are scary. But we do have our dodge up now. Ultimate butt, butt clinchers, yeah. Bad dodge. Very good crit. Okay, that's not bad. We resisted thanks to the holy water. We have the buffed holy water, so it's plus 45. I mean, you can't be blighted? No. Uh, it doesn't. So... Basically, how Blight and Bleed Resist and percentages like that work is they subtract it from the enemy's odds of, of bleeding. 
So the formless flesh maw here might have, let's say, 140% chance to bleed you. And so if you have 100% bleed resist, then it technically has a 40% chance, you know? Uh. Crit. This is a really bad combo. Double butt parasite. Dodge, 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 dodge. Uh, at least we resisted. Don't hit him. Don't hit our hound master, please. Oh, thank you. Thank you, dodge. 83 dodge. All right. Good, good. We're all right. We're okay. Never worried. Heal him. Fifteen. Maybe I guard him. Because then we get protection from it, too. It's not like... Uh, four to seven damage. Yeah, let's guard. Leaders is coming through. Well, it, it's because of the upgraded Holy Water. Good dodge. Because we have the district. This is good. We have the district that makes it do 45 resist. When I crack over a cold one, <laughs> if we get into the upper 200s. Oh, that could have been really bad. It's so good that we dodged that one. Don't need to use Holy Water. We're going to put a big hit into the hearts here. Get there. Thank you, Phoenix. Yeah, I have no idea where we are. So maybe if we get to like 280 or something would be good. Holy Water. You know what? I'm going to keep doing this. We're going to keep buffing his protection. More Holy Water. Man, that crit was scary. It's so good we dodged that second, second attack. Thank you, Phoenix. Lower defense and the others. The heart. Yeah, the, the, the heart does the... Good dodge. The um, spine one, or rib cage, or whatever you want to call it, that one has the most protection. And then um, the next weakest one, aside from the heart, is the undulating butt parasite one. Bot Blizzard. Blizzard, thank you for the follow. Hey, Quinter, welcome back. It's good to see you, Quinter. How you doing? Welcome on in. All good crits. So yeah, the heart takes the most damage. The butt parasite takes the second most. The head next and the spine is super, super uh, resilient. Compassion. Body part rolls. Yeah, I mean, we have stacked dodge and protection, so it's coming in handy so far. And we still have holy water for now. See, see that crit was only eight. If that had, if we didn't have 60% uh, protection, actually we have more. That would have hit him for what was it? High 20s, low 30s? Yeah, very good. Nowhere in between. We have 75% protection. Hey, Mini, welcome in. How you doing, Mini? We're going to keep doing that. Uh, let's guard our Hellion now. Oh, good hit. Good hit. Ugh. How close are we to killing it? These ones are faster, so hitting one of these would be better right now. So basically, they're going to take these two ticks, right? So they're going to take eight. Uh, Hound's Harry is going to deal... Let's say it deals bottom end. One damage plus the three bleed. Yeah, I guess Hound's Harry is still better here, even though I'm trying to rush it. Most close to death from the bleed, yep. That's the strategy. Could probably kill it right here. Close. Close. That's fine. We want them to hit our man-at-arms. We want them to hit him. Uh, which one went? Oh crap, I wasn't paying attention. Was it position one or two that went? It's position two, right? Oh, I can check. No, it's position one. So he has three rounds, this one has four. First one went. Yep, yep. Thank you. I could just check. <laughs> Base chance of virtue, 
How you doing, Blizzard? How you doing, Talos? So we're, we should be good. We're good. Uh, we got crit, what, three or four times, but luckily most of those went on to our man at arms with 70% protection. Man at arms, I'm telling you. It's like the secret to this run. It's one big hurdle down. See, we scout a secret room. Nope, I'm leaving. Leaving. <sighs> the the Houndmaster thing was closer than maybe it looked. Our Houndmaster got crit to low health with a um, with the undulating butt parasite, and then the other one went to attack him. He dodged it. Syphilis, not good. Cove scroungers doesn't matter. Phaedos doesn't matter. Cove explorer doesn't matter. Germaphobe kind of sucks. Huge dodge. Yeah, we've had some really clutch dodges this run. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and a comment below. You can also subscribe to the channel by clicking this button. It helps out a ton. And after all of that, be sure to check out the next video right up here. Of course, as always, thank you guys for watching.